You're right guys, how are we all doing? It's Andy here from Peninsula Paint and Projects. Now before we start, don't forget to come over to Peninsula Hobby and Chill. The members at the moment, we're currently growing, we're expanding, we're getting new people in each and every week and I really appreciate that and I also enjoy discussing this hobby with all of you and I also enjoy the most actually seeing what you're working on. Now I'm trying to, be, I'm trying to encourage the members to try and share their stuff regardless of whether they think it's terrible or not i want to see your work so come on guys share your work on the group let's have a little discussion let's see what we all collect and let's have some bloody damn damn good fun so in this issue we have got issue number 30. finally we're on number 30 and we got some nice little ruins which you know what we'll have a look at them now straight away so I was just having a look on, on Games Workshop website and these riser pattern ruins come in a box set which comes with two sprues. Now that box set is £17.50. This is obviously £7.99. So unfortunately we're only seven we'll, we're only saving 76 pence by buying this. But in my opinion, there's always a positive to a negative. Now me personally, I probably would never have bought the full set, even though I do like the look of it, but it probably wouldn't have been on the top of my priority list. But because I've subscribed to this, and because obviously I'm doing the unboxings on YouTube, this has now came into my possession, it's came into my collection. And you know what? It looks really bloody nice. And not only that, with it being 7 99 guys, obviously 7 99 per week, now, I had this discussion with, uh, actually it was with Super Saiyan, um, you know, he actually checked out one of my videos, left a comment, which I appreciate that. He was saying that he doesn't think it's pocket money money. Now, I disagree, because obviously, certain people are more fortunate than others, I understand that, but 7.99 per week, you got a little paper round maybe, a bit of pocket money, you might be able to afford this unless you haven't got any other hobbies. Do you get what I mean though, guys? You might be able to afford this and it, it's a reasonable price and it's a good entry point into the hobby and that's the main purpose of Conquest. It's not for the likes of me who've been collecting for 20 years. It's for the likes of the new people or the people who have just started um, building up their armies and the forces. But me personally, I've been looking forward to getting some train and if I see one more crate, one more armored Minotaurum crate, I'm gonna throw it through the bloody window because I'm fed up. Now enough of that guys, let's have a little look at this, how detailed it is. Now, as you can see the level of detail there, we've got some bullet holes there. And I believe these clip on. So you obviously clip them out and that slides into that. Um, which will be quite interesting because obviously if I prime this all, paint it all up, and then if I then um, spray a little um, satin varnish over it, I'm gonna protect it, I can slide it in and out. And then obviously we can, hopefully we're gonna get the second part and we can swap them around a bit. So yeah, little hatch there to shoot out of. Nice uh, engine bay there type of thing, like a propeller and stuff. And then we've got a, like a, a lid grid thing there. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed and I'm pretty happy. I can't really grumble about this. Let's move on to the magazine. Nice bit of um, artwork on the front cover. Obviously that's how it should look once it's painted. And what I do like about Conquest is the sort of painting it the way how it should look when we, well, when the subscribers paint it, which is which is pretty good in my opinion. Um, so we're gonna learn about the um, Primarchs, Heralds of Nagel and the new terrain rules. So here's a bit of information here about the Primarchs. Now guys, I've said this probably in every issue when, when mentioned about Primarchs, but I've started reading the Horace Heresy um, novel collection and guys, you need to go out and, and read it or buy the audio book or whatnot. It's really bloody good. First book is the best up to now, in my opinion. It really sets a scene and you get, get a better understanding of all the characters and all the Primarchs and whatnot. So there's some information in there about that. This is the, well, this would have been, I'm guessing, the, the previous chapter planets. So obviously things have changed over the last couple of years. Um, here's a bit of information about the different uh, battles between, for example, Horus, Lupercal versus Lehman Russ, which I didn't even know that I cared. 
So, spoiler alert, sorry guys. Um, what else? Some home worlds here. So obviously, Bal is the home world for Bloody Angels. So, a bit more information. Always good to learn a bit more about the hobby that you're doing. Herald of Nurgle. So, obviously, once again, ooh, some nice Imperial Guard there. Going against them. The Nurglings here. The City of Dead. Ooh, that looks very interesting. And then, obviously, how to build your Riser Ruins. Clip them out. Use your um, mold line scraper to just get rid of the mold lines. And then we're going to paint them all up. So it's obviously Tanya's a base coat and Abaddon black with the big brush that you got. And then it's Tanya's a dry brush with the grey, the Mechanica standard grey, which you know what? I'm tempted to try that myself, you know, guys. I, I, I'll have a little think about it. I'm unsure what colour I'm going to paint in, but I can, well, not only me, but you guys can do it. We can use this for our 40k tables. We could use it for a little diorama. We could use it on our bookshelf with our models as a little display piece. Or we could even use it for kill team. There's loads, loads and loads of choice there, guys. So that's that, bit of shade in there, obviously in all the oil. And then here's the, the, the rules here about the uh, the ruins, which looks pretty understanding here. Let's have a little look, um, yeah. Of, yeah, well, that looks pretty cool, to be honest. And then we've got here the new campaign. And it tells you obviously how much in cover the model is. If it's, if it's if, yeah, 50% of the model, it gets plus one to its save, which is always good. And certain models get plus two if they have ammo cloaks, like the new uh, eliminators, uh, infiltrators, and the lieutenant and the captain also get plus two with their camo cloaks from the Shade Spire box set, which I might actually have a giveaway coming up. Possibly, you might be able to win a Shade, Shade Spire box set. You'll have to keep keep uh, keep your eyes peeled and stay tuned. So there's the escalation, zone A, zone B, whatnot. So what do we get in next week's? Next week's we're getting Death Guard Green, Celestial Grey, and a Medium Layer Bush. And then we're getting the Primars Apothecary. So, Decent and very good ish future issues there guys. So thanks for watching. Bit of a short video I know. But if you want to see my progression of these, if you want to see my progression of my um Black Legion Chaos Space Marines from the Shadow Sphere box set, come over to the Facebook group guys, come and check it out. I'll put a link up above and down below. Don't, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you soon. Try guys, see you later.